Tiber. Nightcap and Nancy. This is Resistance Homesteading. As you can see, we're at the laundromat. We're doing our uh, weekly laundry run. And um, I've got clips. I've got actually three different projects going on. Um, we built the chicken basically tractor at this point. It's the bottom of the coop. Um, and then I built a black soldier fly bin and I am currently working on our shower. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm gonna put this video together and this is just gonna be the chicken tractor. And then later on, I'll put the other two videos together and, and drop them. But I don't wanna have three different projects going in a video and then you don't see the other two completed. So this one is just gonna be the chicken tractor bottom of the chicken coop. So we're gonna go in here and do the laundry. I'm gonna put the video together and we'll drop it. So we love you. Nothing you can do about Nothing. it. Nothing. So I guess this is a pretty good way to start the long form this week. What are you doing, Nancy? No, Checking really, what do you, why, 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 what's going on? Explain. Well, we bought 10 birds and we have three alive. Right, right. Now. right. And why do you, what do you think happened? What, what do you think the probable causes of that are? A couple different things. They were cold. We got them. And they were a day old when we got them. Right. So. So the hatchery could have held them for like two days and they told us to dip their beaks. In other words, introduce them to water. They couldn't even do that. And then the... They're born, they put them in a box and ship them out. Right. And the local post office was cold. I mean, I get that they're busy, but they're animals, right? Right. They should have at they're least... They're live animals, well, supposed to be. Right. Yeah, right. I'll show you. This one right here I'm concerned about. It's not really moving around. We got him under a heat lamp. Yeah, I had him under a heat lamp. He's a little lively. He's better than the last two we had to take outside. I know people are over there like, oh my gosh, there's a cat in the background, but... Cats aren't messing with him. No. Not at all. And we have them safe. We have a grate over the tote. They're they're in a tote out there with a heat lamp on them. And I don't know. It's doing all right, babe. I know it's sad. It's been a sad day, kind of, huh? Yeah. I feel bad for the birds. All right, guys. That's the That's the first clip for this week. We've been dealing all day with what, with losing uh, Keats, and uh, we were hanging out with Dr. Clown on his live stream, so I hope you guys stick around for the long forms, man. I know they're long, but if you watch, you'll get the whole story, you know? So, for the long form, uh, we're out here figuring out layout for our chicken coop, because... The two things that we desperately need, Nancy just made clear to me, was our chicken coop and um, our shower. I'll show you why. I'll show you what our chickens are doing right now, how we've got them. And please refrain from, oh my gosh, that's inhumane, because we're working on it as fast as we can. So there's our big birds right there, and our little birds are back over there. We've got them covered and protected. But, and we, you know, got a place for them to get up and roost, but they don't, um, you know, have protection from the wind and rain. And it's just, it's not ideal. So we're getting focused on that today. Um, we're also attempting to do it in a way that is as inexpensive as possible uh, with the materials that we have available. You can see we've been picking up a lot of um, throw off scrap from Home Depot that they give away for free. Um, there's a tip for you. They have uh, the call bin, which is 75% uh, off lumber. And uh, they've been giving us these spacers right there. I've been collecting them up um, for use in my sawmill um, for, you know, drying the lumber after I mill it. Um, but yeah, so we're just, you know, figuring out our best option. We're probably going to go with the shingled roof. And I think... Uh, <laughs> Like always, you know, run to Home Depot. I got to get some OSB. So, um, but.
But hopefully, you know, here in a couple of days, it's not a doubt I'm going to get done today. It's actually uh, calling for some rain later again. Um, but hopefully in a couple of days, I will have this coop put together. And then I'm using the 16 footers to build a covered hardware cloth covered run. Uh, we have to protect the chickens with hardware cloth out here because we have coyotes and mean possums and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, so that's, you know, long form video stuff. Hopefully by the end of this video, we will have a chicken coop to show you guys. So I got the floor framed up. As you can see, I used uh, two by fours for the joists and in the corner up there, that's going to rest on a four by four post that I'm going to go down, you know, two foot or so, and that's going to be wrapped with um, hardware cloth. So there's going to be a fenced area underneath. It'll be up off the ground a little bit. Um, I'm probably going to have to build steps for it eventually, but right now we're, uh, we're about to deck it with plywood, square it up, screw that decking down, and then I'm going to get started on the walls. So, all right, back to work. So I got the floor framed up i've got the post set i've still got to finish screwing them down drilling them out screwing them down real quick um i've got the bottom of the under the coop run um i gotta get ready to put the hardware cloth down but before we do that we're going to paint real quick and of course we got barn red paint over there and we're going to paint the bottom i'm going to attach the hardware mesh and then flip it over Put the deck on, square it, and then start with my walls. All right, back to work. So, guys, um, last clip for the night. We're about to call it a night. As you can see, it's starting to get dark. Uh, Nancy's finishing up painting uh, barn red. The theme is going to be barn red and semi gloss white. Uh, that's what we're going to paint the uh, plywood decking on the floor so help clean up better. Um, you know, window frames, door frames, stuff like that. But the rest of it is going to be this barn red. And then the bottom here is going to be wrapped in two foot hardware cloth, one half inch. Um, we're going to tack it to the outside here and then the outside of the post. Then we're going to tuck it in on the inside there. And we're going to use a one by two on the inside to secure it to make sure that it can't be pushed in. So that is the plan. But we are going to call it a night because it's getting late tonight. So... Like always, we love you. Nothing you can do about it. Nothing. Sorry. Nothing. So, hey, guys. Um, <laughs> goofball. Um, just wanted to show you guys we're in the process of uh, hardware hardware clothing. Uh, we put the gate in. I'll come around here so you guys can see. We put the gate in. Ta-da. It's going to open from the bottom. I had uh, I had the mortise in the joint right here with a skill saw or with a uh what is it a skill saw yeah skill saw it, the name of it's skill saw but it's not a skill saw a jigsaw sorry my bad and then up there you can see you see how it's on the inside at the top what i'm going to do is i'm going to nail half inch by twos well screw half inch by twos after i staple it so that'll prevent animals from you know pushing it in and uh pro tip angle grinder with a cutoff wheel to cut the wire works great you hear our new little baby goat over there throwing a fit it's drizzling oh you should have heard her scream when we took her when the lady took her from her mom wow like i didn't <laughs> oh i did not know i did not know goats would get loud like they she was mad about was it not happy not happy about it so right in your ear too oh like, yeah 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 ah! So yeah, now we have uh, Poppy the goat and um, Sadie. Sadie the goat. So Sadie we goat. we have hopefully a breeding pair with a female that will throw multiples. That would be cool. Oh, and guess what else I learned today? Picking a turtle up on the side of the road and taking it to your property, bad move. Turtles will then spend the rest of his life trying to find its home. So I kind of feel bad because today, the reason this came up, like one of my most viewed videos is the turtle save that we put down there on the creek. And uh, 
Today, we had actually three in the truck, little baby turtles and bigger turtles that were crossing the road, and we picked them up. Well, the lady we bought the goat from was like, yeah, we used to do that for years, and no, you're not supposed to, and this is why. Like, they spend their whole lives they trying to... have a to, certain radius. Yeah, like a certain in. range that they live in, like, their whole life, and if they go outside of it, they just try to find their way back. So, I felt really bad, and I won't be doing that no more. anymore. She said um, the best thing to do is just cr help them cross the road, put them in the ditch, and let them be on their way. So that's what I'm going to do from now on. Um, you know, you got to watch the long form to know that stuff, though, man. You wouldn't know about turtles. Long. Long. We talk a lot. All right. We love you. Get back to work. It's raining. You get to work. It's raining. No, I mean, we're... You get to work. So right. if you notice right here at the top along the inside... I had to fold the hardware cloth on the inside. See, so you, you normally you want your hardware cloth stapled on the outside, so if an animal pushes in, it's harder to get the hardware cloth in. But up there at the top, because of the way I had to cut it, I brought it in, and then you can see I wrapped the corners up there in them corners. I wrapped the corner and stapled it. But what I'm now going to do is I'm going to take those furring strips, those uh little you know half inch by ones or one and a half whatever they are and i'm gonna screw them down on the top all the way around so that way it's secure if an animal pushes from the outside it's still secure at the top and um i just wanted to show you that little detail just to make sure my girls are safe and you know we got new predators out here and we don't want to lose them so at a farm e-i-e-i-o old mcdonald had a farm e-i-e-i-o and on his farm he had a duck e-i-e-i-o with a quack quack here and a quack quack there.